Hello friends, my name is Ritha Sachdev. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how we can create tooltip in Bootstrap. Tooltip is some extra information or some additional information which pops up when we hover on an element. Before we start, let me preview up the things which we are going to learn in this tutorial. See here, I have several buttons and when I hover on them, see on the first button, I have a tooltip on the top, my tooltip. On the second button, I have a tooltip on the bottom. On the third, in left. On the fourth, in right. And here's some text or link. When I hover it, I do have a tooltip again. So, let's get started. Here I have already opened up the document in which we are going to work. The software I am using is Adobe Dreamless CC. You can use any of the code editor software. Just I have linked up all the necessary files in this document. This is the latest minified version for jQuery which you can easily get from jQuery.com and this is compiled and CSS file for bootstrap and this is optional theme for bootstrap and this is minified and compiled javascript for bootstrap. All these three files you can easily have from getbootstrap.com, the official website of bootstrap. Now, inside this body tag, let me have a div with a class of container, a pre inbuilt class in bootstrap. Let's close this div. Let me have few br tags as I, I want to have a few line breaks on the top. I don't want everything to be so tight on the top. Just to have line breaks, let me have br tag. Now, let me have an anchor tag as I'm gonna have tooltip on the anchor tag. So, let me have an anchor tag. href is equal to let me have hash for now. Close this anchor tag. Now let me have some text inside this anchor tag. The text on which we are going to have our tooltip. So the text be tooltip. Now I want to create a button on this link. So the tooltip will appear on the button. So let me give a class btn btn dash danger. This danger gonna give me red color button. If you want to know in detail how this button and button classes work, you can watch my earlier tutorial. I do have it on my channel. Now, data dash toggle is equal to tooltip. We want our tooltip to toggle. So data dash toggle be tooltip. Now let me have a title. The title will be the text which you will get on the hover. Text of tooltip. So the title be my tooltip. Right. Now to make it function properly, let me have a very little bit of Java code. To have a Java code, let me go to the end of document before this closing of body tag. Let me have a script. Tag. Let me close the script tag. Now, inside this script tag, let me have a pound sign. Bracket. Document. Close this bracket dot ready function. Now inside this ready function of document which means when the document is ready. Now let me have a pound sign. I want to have my functionality on anchor tag. So inside inverted comma let me have an anchor tag. Close this bracket dot tool tip 
opening and closing the brackets semicolon now let's save our document now let's preview okay i do have a cool button and when i hover on this button i do have a tool tip my tool tip the default state for this tool tip is on the top now we can make this tool tip appearing on the left right bottom also so let me again go to my editor and let me show you how we can position our tool tip give it a placement on this anchor tag just we will have data dash placement now let's make it left let's save it up let's refresh our page see our tooltip is on the left side now let's make it right Let's refresh. See, tooltip appears on the right. Let's make it bottom. Let's see it up. Let's reload. See, tooltip appears on the bottom. It is not necessary that you should have a button to have a tooltip. You can have your tooltip simply on some text or on links or any of element you want. So this is done friends and if you like this video of mine, do thumbs it up. And if you want to learn these subjects directly from me, do contact me. And do not forget to subscribe me. Have a good day. Bye-bye.